Hello viewers, welcome to IT System Admin and Information Technology Learning Tutorial channel for you. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install CentOS Stream 9 in Hyper-V. Sometimes it becomes very important for you, so don't forget to watch full video. To install CentOS Stream 9 in Hyper-V, go to Hyper-V Manager and first of all you have to ensure that you have created an external switch to connect internet in your virtual machine click on virtual switch manager and here select external and then click on create virtual switch i am not creating right now as because i have already created an internal virtual switch here just create the external virtual switch and then click on apply ok now i am going to install centos 9 stream in hyper v manager click on new on upper right corner and then click on virtual machine click on next now type the name of your virtual machine centos 9 now click on next and here you will find two options generation 1 and generation 2 generation 1 supports 32 bit and 64 bit guest operating system generation 2 support only 64 bit guest operating system and it's uefi based and generation 1 is bios based i am selecting generation 1 you can select any one as per your requirement now click on next here in memory I am taking 4 GB. That's why 4096. This is the standard, and you can use dynamic memory for this virtual machine. If the machine do not require 4 GB, it will release extra memory from this virtual machine. Now click on next. Now in connection. Click on the drop down menu and select external virtual switch. This connection will help you to connect internet to your virtual machine. Now click on next. This is the virtual hard disk. Dot VHDX is must, but you can change the name as you wish. But please note, dot VHDX is must. This is the virtual hard disk location. I am going to change the location. Click on browse and click on this PC and I'm going to store the virtual hard disk on disk F. Double click on it and select the folder VM and click on select folder. Look the location has been changed. Now the size of virtual hard disk you can take maximum 64 TB. I am taking only 30 GB. Now click on next. Install an operating system letter is selected. I am selecting install an operating system from a bootable CD or DVD ROM. Click here and click on image file as because I am installing the CentOS 9 stream from the ISO image. Click on image file and then click on browse and select your CentOS Stream 9 ISO image. This is my CentOS Stream 9 latest ISO image. Select it and click on open. Now click on next. This is the summary of your configuration and then click on finish. The virtual machine has been created. Now right click on your virtual machine and click on connect. Now click on start. Starting the virtual machine, CentOS 9. Now select the first one from your keyboard. Install CentOS Stream 9 and then hit enter. You can maximize your virtual machine. Click on view tab. And then click on full screen mode. The virtual machine is installing. Now select your language. I am selecting English and then select English United States. Now click on continue. 
now click on installation destination and select the virtual hard disk and stress configuration automatic is selected now click on done then software selection server with gui that means graphical user interface if you want only command line mode you have to select minimal installation i am selecting server with gui and then click on done and you can change your time date and time zone from here from here you can change the region and you can change your city from here my region and city is automatically selected that's why i'm not changing it click on done now you need to set root password click on root password i'm typing password here and confirm password you can lock root account from here i'm not locking root account click on done again click on done the root password is set you can create a user from here i'm creating a user my username is it and then type your password here and confirm password click on advanced the home directory of the user and you can specify your user id manually but the default id is 1000 and the group id is also 1000 and you can create the group membership such as i'm going to assign sudo privilege to this user that's why i'm adding this user to wheel group now click on save changes and then click on done again click on done all configurations has been finished now click on begin installation installation is started downloading the packages installation completed now you need to reboot the system click on reboot system the system is restarting now click on your user and type the password and hit enter click on no thanks or take a tour installation has been finished this is the easiest way to turn centros 9 on hyper v this is all for today hope this tutorial is helpful for you keep watching for next tutorial thank you very much